Welcome to this look at Echo. My name is Martin Emborg and I'm the art and game director at Ultra Ultra. And my name is Morten Hildgren, I'm the game and level designer. We're going to take a look at a level that's uh, a bit before midway through the game. This is uh, the main character called N, and she's journeyed to this palace in the depths of space to try and revive someone she lost. But what she didn't expect was that instead of reviving that person, it creates a whole lot of her instead. So she has to face herself in order to achieve her goal. And that's what you'll be doing as the player, you'll be faced with your, your own playstyle. So this is the start of a new level and here are the two uh, objectives. Those are keys that I need to get to the center of the level, so I'll start doing that now. And the way that it functions, this whole echoing thing, is that the palace is keeping an eye on you at all times and monitoring everything you do. And whenever you see a, a glassy ghost imprint like this one, that's something that your future echoes will be able to do. So once you've done enough things that the palace thinks that it needs to update them, a blackout will occur and it's after this blackout that you will be up against your playstyle and decisions from the last cycle. The blackout cycles are a continuous loop of the echoes learning and unlearning from your way of playing the game. Alright, so I'll just take a peek down here and see what's going on. Oh, you almost got spotted. Yeah. Alright, so you're going for this key first. Yeah. I think I'm gonna try and tag these two. The tagging is really neat because you can actually see enemies through walls. Uh, and also, it, it gives you aim snaps should you need to shoot at these ladies later. Yeah. This is one of our collectibles in the game. So in this case, I think I'll go in and grab that because this enemy won't actually know how to open the doors yet. So I just open the door, so I'll, I'll double down on that, uh, go and grab that, and then try and get out and close the door. Yes. deal with the echoes. Doors will still work against them, of course. Oh, uh, this is another uh, collectible, actually. This has to do with the lore of the palace, and if you, if you collect enough, enough of these, you'll get uh, glimpses of the culture that built this place. The important thing to note is also that during blackouts, actually, uh, the echoes won't learn things. So if you want to do something, you do it during the blackouts. All right. There. And this actually uh, shows the, the, the radar. So the radar shows you the enemies in your surroundings as these uh, kind of readings on this sphere here. And that enables you to kind of sense what's going on around you. And they're using doors. And so from the size and the movement of these readings on the sphere, you can get a good sense of uh, the movements of the enemies around you. You can see that you can see like four enemies around you now. So there's an elevator there, I'll grab that to get down. Right. Close. Yeah. There's the key, so I need to get it. Watch there. out. Mm. She just ate a grape. <laughs> Yeah, so there's a crystal ball there. These are uh, good for a few different things. You can throw them as distractions. You can throw them at them, uh, like you actually did before, uh, to, to, to uh, knock them over. And you can also bludgeon them with it, which is uh, an easy way of killing them, but also something really dangerous to teach them. Because, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have now given them the ability to kill you almost instantly. Oh yeah, and shooting. Yeah. This is going to be uh, best. Yes. <laughs> so now I need to get out of here. Um, oh yeah, these suns are your uh, energy source, by the way, and they power down during the blackout, so you must stuck up on them during the light. Okay. This is heating up. Yeah, this is good. Uh, See 
see that they're searching for you upstairs and there's also someone down here, so be careful. You can also hear that the, the blackout is about to end. Yeah. All right, so one key is gotten. Yes. So now we need to get to the other side here. Oh yeah, and she's also, you, you snuck in this round again. Right, this, yeah. Better be careful. They're shooting, right. yes. all of them after each blackout. So I get down here. Yeah, and this is the area scan. This sends out the local hot sphere in order to get uh, outlines of all the enemies, though it is at the cost of your local reading, so that means that they can sneak up, sneak up on you and that can result in some nasty surprises if you're not very careful. You really get used to seeing those readings. Yeah. Taking, taking the shooty kind of... <laughs> <laughs> Get out, you have the keys. Right, I'll try and go to the end here. Let's see. You made it, that's actually kind of impressive. Yeah, kind of hear it down there. I think I'm gonna try and mix it up a tiny bit and maybe not shoot so much now. That sounds wise. Yeah. So maybe try and stealth a bit more. Uh, yeah. <gasps> oh yeah, you, you saw that she almost, she was about to spot you because she sprinted. Right. Let me just try and shout ah! here just to get her ascension and then... Yeah, so cells, of course, is not only for shooting, it's uh, kind of a unified energy source that, you, yeah, uh, watch out. Uh, it's kind of a unified uh, energy source that goes to do stuff like uh, area scan, vaulting from a height, uh, of course, shooting, whoa, whoa, many different things. playthrough has been pretty shooty and actiony yeah. but uh, of course you can you can play uh, the level 
without shooting at all. Yeah. I mean, taking it stealthily, you can also, of course, if you had gone for the other key first, that would have enabled all the echoes to do different things, and that would have changed the way that you would have had to go about getting the other key. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, of course, you could have played it uh, like sneaking around very much uh, in, in both sides of the level. Uh, it's uh, totally up to, to you the way you yeah. want to play the game. And of course, also, if you want to collect collectibles and stuff like that and kind of search out all the all the different rooms and hallways, uh, there's a lot to do. So you didn't shoot in the last round, so you should be... That gives me a little bit here. <laughs> but of course now you're almost there, so you're, you're kind of taking, yeah. Some, yeah. taking some liberties here. Yeah. Which is actually really good, not only for saving on but also for not teaching them to shoot quite as much yeah. as you have. Looks like you're gonna make it, so that's it. Thanks for looking at Echo with us, it's out September 19th.